It's our Grand Prix Sunday here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show, presented by Longine. Peter? We've got five riders that have answered the test, mastered Alan Wade's very challenging Sunday Grand Prix course. Karen Poley's going to lead us off. That's last year's winner with the 12-year-old gelding with wings. Four-time Olympian, double gold, silver medalist, World Cup champion for the United States, Elizabeth Madden on Keister de Gildenboom. This is a, an up-and-coming top horse for her. This is, this is a wonderful opportunity for her to put this horse really on the map. Charlie Jacobs going third on his 10-year-old mare, Cassinia S. The veteran Richie Maloney from Ireland on Caribus Z. That's a 13-year-old gelding. And then going last is Andrew Wells, the young American rider on the 10-year-old Brindis Bogabo. He had a wonderful day Friday. That would, this would be the, the biggest win of his career if he could pull this one out today. Now we have a, a course walk for the jump off and you had an opportunity, well both of you had an opportunity to, uh, to walk that. So if we can get that animation up, let's, let's have some commentary. Mary, Peter, well, let's here go. here we go. The first jump is the same. The riders are gonna get a big gallop. They'll either do 11 or 10 strides to the same fence number two, short six strides to the oxer. Someone might gamble and try to do five there. That's a really big leave out. A roll back on a new jump. That's a vertical, that's a tight turn. And then rolling back on the B and C element of the Lawn Jeans triple, oxer vertical. Tight left hand turn inside the hedge jump. The riders are gonna go inside to another new jump, a meter 62 Hampton Classic vertical. And then it's the run for home, that mad gallop to a big wide oxer, the original fence number 14 for the finish. We have multiple changes of direction, tight left-hand turn, a tight right-hand turn. Alan Wade has set a doozy. He has. This is a really galloping jump off. You've got galloping, you've got turning. Um, I think it's going to be a great jump off. And a number of opportunities to make up time and speed if you know what you're, you're facing, what your competition is all about. No question about it. Now, when you have only five in the jump off, if you're going first, you're playing poker. You are. What you're, are you going to do? You're really going as fast as you are comfortable with your horse going, and you're trying to put the pressure on the riders who go after you. So I think you're starting out with a gallop, and you're you're just going the whole way. Well, we've got, uh, Ernie, we've got two ladies leading us off. The young Karen Pole, who I believe just graduated Yale University. Then the veteran, BZ Madden. And then the men just keep on coming. Charles Jacobs, Richie Maloney, and the young American, Andrew Wells. Alan Keeley, our ringmaster, is gonna be sounding the call to begin our very exciting jump off. So we have three countries represented in the jump off. Leading off for Japan will be Karen Pole, recent Yale graduate. Then for the US, veteran BZ Madden, followed by Charlie Jacobs, Irish rider Richie Maloney, and then Andrew Wells. Now this is our time. We got to make our picks, guys. Oh, we got to make our picks. Can I stay picks. neutral? Am I allowed oh, to stay neutral? Oh, come on, come on. Mary, you have to go first. Ladies first. Okay. They're going first in the jump off. And here's the call. Think about your pick. I'm going to go with Richie. All right. What a beautiful day. We were so concerned what Mother Nature is going to do to us today, but the conditions could not be more beautiful. So, Mary, you have a pick? I did. I'm going to go with Richie. I think that uh, I think he's really Look at fast, this. and Look he's at sort this. of You've in the driver's seat. With wings, very a little nervous about getting into the ring, so they had to back him into the ring. So, Mary, you're picking Richie I'm Maloney. Picking Richie. That's a good pick. He's late in the order. Ernie? BZ Madden all the way. BZ Madden. All right. And I guess I've got to get in there as well. I'm going with my buddy Charlie Jacobs. Okay. Come on, Charlie. Good. But Richie Maloney, I think, is a real good pick. 
And we can't forget that Karen won last year, so she's yeah, gonna going to give it a shot. Is tough. Going, going first, first is, is tough. I do, yeah, I agree. And you do know so that Andrew Wells is going to prove us all wrong. I so. know. Let's watch what she does. <laughs> she's our first to go, getting a big gallop. This is a fast little horse, and they have a lot of confidence in each other. The faster she goes, the higher this horse jumps. Ten easy Ten strides. strides. Five, Five strides. strides. Look at that. Ridden like a real veteran. She really knows her horse. She really knows it. She really trusts it. It has such range. This is a rubber ball, this horse. This is a tough double. This proved to be really hard in the first round. She's still up. She's two jumps from home. Inside the hedge to the very tall Hampton Classic vertical. Gallop. Still clear. Come on, Karen. One jump. Wow. wow. Well done. Boy, that was a brilliant, brilliant ride. You'd never know that a young rider like that delivered that round. That was ridden like a veteran. It was beautifully ridden. That horse has a huge stride. Uh, so she really put the pressure on the riders that come after her. Her time is 41.54 with a clear round. So re she really laid down the gauntlet. She did. She she put the pressure on the riders that come after her. No one's going to back I, into this. Absolutely. Now in the arena, the starting bell is sounded. She'll have 45 seconds to get to the start timers. BZ Madden, two-time gold medalist, Olympic champion, World Cup champion. And here she comes. This horse is just a nice, easy canner. It does. Let's see if that can translate into something really fast. Ten strides. Five strides. Same five. as Karen Puller. Let's see if she BZ can do it on the turns. Neat. Come on, BZ. If I had a guess, I'd say with wings is, is a faster type of horse. I would agree with you. So BZ's going to have to make it up on the turns. She was quite efficient there. Still clear. The turn on landing was brilliant. Good gallop here. Oh, Still up. Lucky Come rub. on. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. And, and she's done it. Done it. Right. Two oh, tenths of two a second. Tenths of a second faster. How about that? You know, Beezy's so Ernie, brilliant about your the pick way has she come through. I know. <laughs> but no, I'm sorry, Mary, you're absolutely right. Beezy's track, Beezy's turns on landing, on the jumps, with brilliant. this seemingly slightly slower type of mount than Karen Pole's was took she the was lead. So efficient back on the Longines double. And she was incredible there. That's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> it sure is. And it whoever is. beats it deserves, <laughs> it deserves the win. two awards. <laughs> All right, Charlie. The worst you can be is fifth. Charlie, give it a go. I've seen Charlie be very, very fast. And this mare, even though she's a big mare that's kind of broad, is a fast type. She's fast. She's light. And he knows her so well. It's such an advantage when you've had a horse for a while. You've been in jump offs with them before. So both runners have shown us the 10 to the 5. 10 strides from 1 to 2, and then 5 strides from 2 to 3. Ten strides. Five That's strides. Come on, turn. Charlie. Oh, look at that. He look at that. There. Come on, Charlie. A little slow there, but left it up. Come on, Charlie, we gotta use that gas pedal. Get up! Still clear, come on! Come on, Charlie, come on! It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. There it is! There it is! <laughs> there it is! We Charlie Jacobs! seeing them go faster and faster by fractions of a second. How great is that? And as it is so often the case in great international show jumping, tenths of a second, 
decide first, second, third, you know, third, fourth, huge fifth, amounts of yeah. money in the amazing. final rankings. All right, so this is my pick. We've got Richie now, so I have to start rooting. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been something. Everyone is better the the one that came before them. Let's see if Richie can do it. And as you mentioned, Richie has a lot more at stake because there's an additional Longine money that's available. And Richie has won big competitions before. He has. He, he's no stranger to this kind of pressure. This will be Ireland's one and only shot in the jump off. And you'll notice, well, Richie is giving his horse a chance to settle. Yeah. Studying where he wanted to be and taking a breather, and now he's off. Ten strides. Ten strides. There's, There's the five. five turn. And he managed to come. He did. From our little. view on the monitor, he looked a little bit wider there, but it's hard to tell. Coming out the left Coming corner, he's well. still clear. He's two jumps to go. He's pretty he's fast. He's galloping. He's pretty he's fast. He's really galloping. Leave it up. Oh, oh a lucky, lucky rub. Lucky rub. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. If he leaves this up, he's got it. Yes. <laughs> oh, he did it. Unbelievable. Ireland. All right. Jumped All right, into Richie. the lead. Richie Maloney. That was well done. 39-57. I Good. have to say, I said that I love being right. <laughs> 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 but it's not over yet. <laughs> and with that lead, Richie Maloney has also clinched the leading rider title. That's an, the leading rider title. That's an additional $30,000 prize. From wow. Lawn Jeans and, if I'm not mistaken, a beautiful Lawn Jeans watch. watch. Well, let's see. This would be the biggest win of Andrew Wells' career to date if he could best Richie Maloney. There's nothing but zeros on the board. Why not try? You have nothing to lose. At this point, you have nothing to lose. I think Andrew's been riding well all week. I think his horse has been jumping beautifully all week. So, uh try to win the class yeah, on, on friday he rode for just a strategic neat clear round and took third place but i sure hope he leave, he, he lets it all he, hang he, out yeah on sunday you take a shot nothing to lose 10 strides and again. the turn is critical here Walk to the come five. on andrew pretty good he might still be on the pace. Come on, now the wrist. You've got to yeah, just fly just at gallop. this big vertical. You've got to attack it. He's balancing. Still gallop. up. It's going to be close. Come on, Andrew. Come on. Oh, oh my he goodness. He gave it a shot. He's going to go into third, third place. place. Just behind Charlie Jacobs. Great effort. By Excellent. One, by two one hundredths of a second. What a great, great jump off we had here. But the win goes to Richie Maloney and Ireland. And along with his win, he clinches the leading rider title and an incredibly generous $30,000 check from Long Jeans. What a brilliant competition. And Richie really. He really fought to the end. He had a great week. He kept going, and today was his day. Who would have thought that fabulous round by Karen Poley to lead us off would end up fifth? Fifth. My goodness. You know, she rode it really well, and there were just some faster horses and faster riders in the class, but she should be really proud of herself. She rode beautifully. Her jump, horse jumped great, and it was a great jump off. So wow. there's our leaderboard to recap. Ireland's Richie Maloney, our winner today. USA, Charlie Jacobs on his wonderful 10-year-old mare in second. U.S. finishing in third and fourth. Andrew Wells in third with his 10-year-old uh, gelding, Brindis Bogabo. BZ Madden, 
on Kister de Gildenboom in fourth. And riding for Japan, Karen Poli on her wonderful gelding, last year's winner with wings. Well, let's meet and greet our winners today. There we have Richie Maloney with the gorgeous Hampton Classic blue ribbon, the winner's cooler, the leading rider sash, the leading rider armband, a brilliant week capped off by an absolutely fantastic ride. This man went out there and did his job today, riding for his sponsors and local Long Island-based show jumping operation, Equanimity. Just a great day, and look at this. The sun is shining, the wind is temperate, the, the turf is excellent. What more could we ask, Ernie? So much was on the line for, the, for Richie Maloney today. Coming into the ring, he wasn't leading in the uh, Longines Challenge. Uh, Catherine Tyree was uh, in the number one position. So that was at stake. And of course, and when he came into the ring, he was uh, the second from the last to go. And a he lot of fast time was, was he won. He won by almost over a second, almost a full second in a very, very fast jump off. And Richie Maloney doing what he did today in terms of clinching that leading rider title, coming back from behind, is not unlike a Tom Brady or an Eli Manning. Coming back in the last two minutes of a, of a big game, putting a, a drive together and putting it in the end zone and winning. It's as exciting as any sport in which the whole results are based on the last Second. In this case, it was uh, milliseconds, which Real. made it made it happen. The mark of a champion. So we don't expect we always anything do. less from you guys. When you as when you're in that ring, we want you to entertain us with the best, and that's what what you and your fellow equestrians uh, provide to us. And another win for Ireland here on Hampton Classic Sunday. Congratulations to Richard Malone. Wow. Now this horse was our oldest horse in the jump off. Not old in the real sense of the word, but the most experienced, a 13-year-old gelding. And experience does count. It really does. Sometimes youth can work to your advantage because you don't know just how hard things are that you're about to try to do. And you're not fully aware of the pressure. But at the end of the day, like our individual gold medalist in the Rio Olympic Games, Nick Skelton, experience and talent, you can't beat it. And here we have the presentation. This is such a, an important event, important class. The gifts, the, uh, the prizes are being awarded. U.S. rider BZ Madden and her... Barn mate, Karen Poli. I noticed that uh, Beezy's husband, John, was working with Karen Poli in the schooling area and giving her advice. So to some degree, they were teammates today. Finishing up in fourth and fifth. Well, that's something that you see here. I, I know it's the case in all equestrian competition where the camaraderie between all of the riders, it's really a sport where you really do respect the work of other riders. And uh, wow, Richie well, Maloney deserves a lot of respect today because he really, he really he sure does. pulled it out. He sure does. And this is not his first big win. If I'm not mistaken, he's won the Hampton Classic Sunday Grand Prix before. He's won the American Gold Cup. He's won on the biggest stages in the world. Charlie Jacobs accepting his second place honors. And I believe the top three riders in today's competition are all receiving a long jeans watch. Really remarkable. That's something they'll, they'll prize for the rest of their, uh, their lives. It's a precision sport. And for a precision sport, we need precision timing. And that's long jeans. 
they create the value of the sport because they give us the best time. The official timekeepers of the Hampton Classic Horse Show and sponsor for equestrian events all over the world. And not to mention precision, it's also the best of quality. And that's what we get to see here at the Hampton Classic, is quality. Show jumping, quality horses, and quality riders. BZ Madden heading up to collect her fourth place prize. You see her in the background. We've got a nice shot of Richie Maloney. What a beautiful, beautiful day. And the culmination of, of eight days, we had our concerns weather-wise, but uh, those concerns were unfounded because today has been spectacular. There's Karen Poley on her wonderful little gelding with wings, last year's winner. She's amazing, isn't she? Oh, fearless, fearless. And that little horse, the, the athleticism is to marvel at. Just like BZ Madden, Karen, uh, you mentioned uh, future Olympics now into the future. There should be a slot for her because she I really be surprised represents Japan, this country well. Uh, for uh, well, Karen Poli, you know, she represents I, Japan, doesn't yes, she? But yes. she's an American girl, isn't she? Well, she's she's at least a dual citizen because she can't represent Japan if she's not a, a citizen of Japan. So I wouldn't be surprised to see her jumping for her home country of Japan. I'm sure she has in the past and I know she will in the future. Beautiful shot of Richie Maloney and Carabas Z. Again, the Z standing for the top breeding program, Zengerside, founded and started and developed by Leon Melchior. Very disappointing for a McLean Ward just to speak of his uh, his ride, he dropped the rail. Yeah, he had a little little bobble after the water. He had a good jump over the water, and then when he went to balance for the six strides to the big vertical, the uh, Carlos just got a little mouthy. What we call a little mouthy got fussy and left and right with his head, and never really focused in on that vertical. It's most unfortunate because McLean would have been last in the jump off. But he did get a nice prize. I believe he finished in seventh place, which is, uh, you know, for a good day at the office. And there we go. Richie Maloney picking up a gallop. A well-deserved victory gallop for Richie Maloney. His country of Ireland, his stable of equanimity based out here in Long Island. Look at that. Wow. Well, that horse is relaxed and happy. It's not his first victory gallop. What a great shot. Great job, Richie Maloney. For those of you watching this fabulous sport, Richie Maloney worked hard to get to where he is. Nothing was given to him. A lot of sweat. A lot of time, a lot of effort, and look where he is today. A real success story. BZ Madden with Keister, Charlie Jacobs, this wonderful Bay Mare with his second place ribbon, Karen Poley from Japan, their fourth place ribbon. And we're going to be having our uh, press conference for the world. We'll be uh, here at the Hampton Classic at the Longines Chalet. And uh, this is an amazing event because you have press from all over the world asking questions of these great riders.